Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Moemi from quantbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, I want us to discuss how to create image fields in ARCHICAD. Now before we get started, I will request you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helped me grow the community and it helped me know that I am creating content that people love to watch. Now if you've done that, let's go straight to the details of our tutorial. So if you are familiar with fields, you will understand that we use fields to enhance uh, the graphical appearance of our drawing. Fields are 2D documenting tools which can be accessed by uh, going up here under documents, documenting tools and choosing fill. You can be able to create a fill which is something that looks like this and you can also be able to change the color of the fill or the, or the fill pattern based on all these uh, fills that Agicard has created for you in uh, default. So if we go if we go to or if we wanted to create a custom fill for our uh, drawing let's say we wanted to have like uh, ceramic tiles rather some hood for our floor we can be able to create custom fills and by going up here under options element attributes and then we will choose fills when that opens we'll be able to see this preview that as a uh, a fill, a fill type selected and uh, we have options for creating a new fill type renaming it or rather deleting the existing one we also have some other options here such as availability and screen only pattern and fill patterns which helps us to specify the opacity for the fill now what I want us to do is to, create, to click on uh, the new button and if you click on this new button it's going to allow us to be able to create a new fill now there is a, a provision for us to put the name and I want to call this hood MDF and down here you can be able to select the fill type that we want to create Right now this radio button allows me to duplicate the existing fill which is this one that was uh, automatically selected but I wonder, what I want us to do is to create an image fill which is different from what we have right now so I will click I will select this on, uh, on this radio button right an image fill then I will click OK and when I click OK you can see we have this fill type that has been created which is wood mdf then, then now we can be able to either create a new one rename or just delete the, this existing one and what is the availability I want to use it as 2d drafting fill so I will use I'll just leave this uh, button that is selected down here under fill texture if you can look at this, you see it's written no picture selected. And that means that if we go back to drawing the field, we will not be having any fill. It will be just a transparent fill. But I want us to add an image. So I'll click on this button, written browse. Then when the load image from library opens, I'll be able to see what we have in a surface catalog for Archicad 23. We have a lot of things. We have bricks, 
fields, we have ceiling finishes, we have ceramic, concrete, fabrics, flooring, glass, insulation, landscape, metal, all these. But for me, I wanted to use an image that is the most specific, which which uh, reflects the type of the of uh, the surface that I want to use. So what I will do when I am here, I will click on this button written add and this will take me to uh, the files stored in my computer. So I will be able to open my flash disk and locate the folder where I have uh, I want to locate the folder where I have the images stored as you can see it's under images and it's called mdf.jpg so I will select it by clicking on it then I will click open once I click open the texture is going to load eh? and will load under uh, embedded library for that specific project this is the surface now click ok now you can see it as reflected here and i want the sample to be one by one so I will select on one by one here then let me change this to oh, let's say one meter Rather, I can have 500. Then I will have uh, this this selected. Keep original proportion. And I want to go with. Let me see what looks better. If you have two by two, you can choose. I think the first one is okay, but I'm going to have one by one then down here I want to scale with plan then I'll click OK now what we've done we've created a new field type which if I activate my fields I going to document the documenting tools and activate the field if I come here under field pattern and change this to vectoral field or rather change this to um, this field type I have here some field patterns already pre-selected for me and if I click on this drop down I'll be able to see all the types of fields that I have I have solid fields, I have gradient fields I have vectoral, vectorial fields and simple fields and I have image fields and under image fields this is the one that we've created wood mdf so if i draw like this if i put in place this type of a fill and i select it if i come up here I can be able to change that to the hood for my drawing and this is it this is the the one that we have created but for us to be able to see it better, let's say I zoomed to a small area like this. Then I will take this and apply my wood image fill. And this is it. You can see the fill pattern as in the screen. Now let's say you are not satisfied with the, how this one is appearing can be able to select the fill by holding the shift button down and clicking on the fill then we have construction method here so what I want us to do is to select custom distortion then when you click on custom distortion here you will get these two green lines with the with with black dots and you can be able to adjust this as you want then you will see some uh, adjustments happening to 
your fields and if I wanted to make this bigger this is what I'm going to do rather you can also be able to instead of just drag uh, moving the arrow or rather moving the line you can be able to specify the distance by shift R let's say I want this to be 2 meters let's say I also wanted this to be 2 meters so I'll do this select 2 meters and click OK and as you can see the field has adjusted to the dimensions that we have specified specified so guys this was just a quick tip that's how to create image fields I hope this video has been of help to you if it has helped you please give it a thumbs up give it a like share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching i will see you in the next video